Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. It is Monday of Holy Week. Uh, Monday, March the 29th. Oh, so it's Holy Week. Uh, this morning, we're going to be here from uh, Isaiah, and then a reading in Psalms, uh, then Hebrews, and then we're going to the Gospel of John. So here we go. And by the way, uh, if you look on the description, you can see a link to our church website, which is Joy Lutheran Church in Richmond, Texas, as well as a link to where you can get the Revised Common Lectionary in your smart device, as well as the Pray Now app. Ah, so here we go. Get a little starter fluid there. <clears throat> Don't think I've said it, but grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hope and pray you're all doing well this morning. We're going to start this morning in Isaiah chapter 42, verses 1 through 9. So, as always, may God bless the reading of his word. All right. Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth, and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what <clears throat> earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people uh, upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you a covenant to the I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon. From the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, this is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you them. All right, get a little coffee here before we go to the Psalms. We're going to... Uh, Psalm 36, verses 5 through 11. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your judgments are like the great deep. You save humans and animals alike, O Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. All people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house and you give them drink from the river of your, of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In you, light we see. O oh, continue your steadfast love to those who know you, and your salvation to the upright of heart. Do not let the foot of the arrogant tread on me, or the hand of the wicked drive me away. I love that, that psalm. Um, there's a Christian rock band called Third Day. And they did a song based on, uh, and the lyrics are based on this passage. Pretty good song. Hebrews. We're going to go to Hebrews. In the New Testament, it's Hebrews chapter 9, verses 11 through 15. And here we go. But when Christ came as the high priest of the good things that have come, then, then though the greater and perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation. He entered once for all into the holy place, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls, with the sprinkling of ashes of a heifer, sanctify the, sanctifies those who have been defiled so that their flesh is purified, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without blemish to God, Purify our conscience from the dead works uh, to worship the living God. For this reason, 
He is the mediator of the new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance because, of, because a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions under the first covenant. Interesting. The gospel text this morning come to us from uh, John chapter 12, verses 1 through 11. So here we go. Oh, well. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of the disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this pure perfume not sold for three hundred denarii and the money given to the poor? And he said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put in it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She, brought, she bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. And this is the word of the Lord. And during Holy Week, uh, the Revised Common Lectionary has some prayers, and so I'd like to read a few of those. Uh, there's a thematic prayer, and then an intercessory prayer, and then a, and a scriptural prayer. So I'm going to read one of each. Let us pray. Almighty God, your name is glorified even in the anguish of your son's death. Grant us the courage to receive your anointed servant who embodies a wisdom and love that is foolishness to the world. Empower us in witness so that all our world may recognize in the scandal of the cross the mystery of reconciliation. Gracious God, the hope of all in need <clears throat> pour your spirit upon us that we may be instruments of, of your justice and compassion, a light to the nations, and a living promise of your new heaven and, earth, and new earth. Amen. And God of steadfast love, light of the blind and liberator of the oppressed, we see your holy purpose in the tender compassion of Jesus, who calls us into new and living friendship with you. May we, who takes shelter in the shadow of your wings, be filled with the grace of his tender caring. May we, who stumble in selfish darkness, see your glory in the light of his, live, of, of his self-giving. We ask this through whom whose suffering is victorious, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. It's uh, Holy Week, and so... Um, yeah, that's what, Holy Week, it's awesome. So anyway, y'all have a great day. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow morning on Coffee and the Word. God bless. Bye-bye.